Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to set up your Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So you will see welcome to your Pixel, just tap on get started. Now we will ask to connect to a mobile network, so this just means inserting your SIM card. So if you have a physical SIM card and you want to know how to connect that, I'll have a tutorial in the description. If you have a QR code for an eSIM, just tap on download the SIM instead and follow the on-screen instructions. This is not required, so if you don't have a SIM, just tap on skip. I don't have a SIM, so I'm going to do that. From here, you need to connect to Wi-Fi. So connecting to Wi-Fi is optional in uh, two cases. So if you want to set up your device with limited features and you did not connect a SIM card, then you can tap on set up offline. However, if you did connect to mobile data, then it is completely optional to set up Wi-Fi and you'll be able to set up your device with full features. So because I don't have a SIM card and I want full features, I'm just gonna connect to my Wi-Fi network with the password. Now you will see this, getting your phone ready. This can take up to five minutes from my experience. So if you think it's just hanging there, just be patient and it will go to the next phase. Now you'll see here, copy apps and data. So if you have an older device, let's say an old Google Pixel or an iPhone, you just tap on next and it will ask you to follow the on-screen instructions. So here's what's up. It will need you to connect your Google Pixel to the second device. So you may need an adapter. Let's say you're trying to connect an iPhone, you'll need USB Type-C, you'd plug it into the Pixel and then the lightning cable, you'd plug into your iPhone. So you just follow the on-screen instructions and uh, just go from there. But I don't want to copy the apps and data, so I'm gonna tap on don't copy. Now it's gonna give you another loading screen. Just wait for this to go past. Now you'll be asked to enter in your Google account. So with the Google ID, you can use things like Google Play Store, which is required to download apps, Google Drive to save files, Google Photos to save photos. So essentially, you really want to be using a Google account. So if you don't have an account, just tap on create account, follow the instructions, or if you already have an account, enter in the login details. I'm gonna do that one now. You will now see the screen, just tap on agree to this welcome message. You now have another loading screen. This can take up to five minutes, just be patient. Now it's gonna ask for the Google services. So this is very important to understand these features are optional. So Wi-Fi scanning, if you turn this on, it will constantly track your location 24 seven, even if location services is off. This uses a feature called Wi-Fi triangulation. So what it does, if you really want to know, is it will scan all your Wi-Fi networks, then it will use a database of all of the Wi-Fi networks and it will see, okay, these Wi-Fi networks are here, 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 and it will get your location even if the device is offline. So you may want to have that feature on if you want 100% your device uh, to be tracked, it's up to you. For me, I'm gonna turn both of these off. Then you have diagnostic data. It isn't necessary for you to send this data. Uh, it will also consume more battery life, so I recommend you turn it off. Then just tap on accept. It will say back up your phone with Google One. Uh, if you would like to, cool. Uh, for me, I don't want to. So I'm gonna tap on not now. It will ask you to create a PIN. If you would like to change from a PIN to a password, you can tap on screen lock options. You have pattern, PIN and password. I prefer the pattern personally, so I'm gonna use a pattern. So I'm gonna enter in my pattern once, and I'm gonna enter it in one more time. Now we'll ask for a fingerprint ID. So you just wanna scroll down and choose I agree or no thanks. It's up to you. So I'm just gonna tap on I agree and then I'm gonna tap on start. So the fingerprint is actually inside the phone itself. So where you see that little fingerprint icon, just hold it down and just move your finger slightly, okay? So just spam tap and move your finger. Even if you get some failures, that's okay. Just move it around to like where you would potentially unlock your device, okay? So the sides, try and cover every angle of the fingerprint sensor and now the fingerprint has been added. If you'd like to add another, let's say your left uh, thumb, your index fingers, you can do that as well, but you can also do that later inside the settings. So I'll tap on next, you now see continue setup. So if you wanna set up Google Pay, Google Assistant, stuff like that, you can do so. For me, I'm just gonna tap on leave and get a reminder. Now we'll say review additional apps. So if you wanna download all these apps, cool, but I don't use any of these apps other than Google Pay. So I'm gonna unselect them all and I'm just gonna select Google Pay. So now I'm not downloading Google Duo, I don't know what that is, Google Home, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna tap on okay. And now it will say getting your phone ready. This is another loading screen. Just wait for it to finish. Now you see here, swipe to navigate your phone. So if you want to learn the swipe gestures, it will go through it. I'll teach you the swipe gestures after unlock. So I'm gonna tap on skip. 
you see all set, swipe up to go home. So the swipe gestures, they are very similar to the iPhone. So if I just go to, let's say the settings app, if you want to go home, you swipe up quickly and release. So don't hold your finger anywhere. So I'm gonna do that one more time. So just quick, just do a little swipe up, okay? So swipe up, boom, just like that. If you wanna to go to multitasking, you swipe up, but instead of releasing, you hold the finger. So swipe up and hold around here, and then you just give it a little bit, and then you release your finger, and then you're brought to multitasking, okay? So swipe up, hold, boom. If you'd like to go back, you either slide from the very edge of the screen, right to left, you see boom back, or you can go from left to right to go back as well. So that's how you use the uh, swipe gestures. So we now set up the Google Pixel 6. We now understand the general ideas of how to use the device. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.